in this video today in this video we are going to learn how the re reports in tally different types of reporting tally okay the main financial report let's see the main financial reports in tally for example balance sheet balance sheet profit and loss okay so here let's start with the balance sheet when you you can find the balance sheet option here okay get back tally balance sheet option okay here balance sheet option let's go to the balance sheet press enter it will leave you balance sheet here you can find go alt f1 for the details of balance sheet so this is the details of balance sheet okay now okay so here it is given liability is a debit side asset is a credit side okay this is a horizontal balance sheet if you want vertical balance sheet okay asset will be up upside and liabilities will be downside okay here let's see this is the liabilities this is the asset fixed asset investment current asset and branch or division okay two more thing is given here and miscellaneous expenses for example preliminary expenses okay here is the liability loans current liability profit and losses okay this will be here left side okay now uh, how many what are the changes what are the different types of things we can do in the balance sheet if you want to see in percentage let's make it okay f12 here show vertical balance sheet if you want to show vertical balance sheet let's let's see vertical balance sheet okay now let's see source of fund capital is upside and application of fund means assets this is the uh, liabilities this one is the assets okay this is the vertical balance sheet okay if you want to see horizontal one okay let's go by f12 and show vertical balance sheet should be no okay profit and losses both as liability no need now it's again back to the horizontal way let's go to other features for example s f12 show percentage here is a show percentage option let's see show percentage option this is a percentage along with the balance sheet amount has been given total 100% liabilities 69% liabilities for capital fund capital account 1% for loans 22% for current liability and 8% for profit and loss here out of 100% 10% for fixed asset 28 for investment 60% for current assets 1% for branch and division okay branch and division now let's go make it no okay here show working capital if you want to see working capital you can see here make it yes okay working capital is current asset minus current liability okay here is there current liability is given here no no current liability is given here current liability is given here current asset here okay here is the option this is the working capital option okay this is the current asset option this is the current liability option current asset minus current liability the answer is working capital so we can see working capital working capital is a present cash which holds the company let's see current assets 30 30 lakhs current liabilities 10 lakhs okay okay 30 lakhs 17000 this one is 10 lakh 89000 now the answer is 20 la 19 lakh change because it won't be 20 lakhs 19 lakh change because 89000 is there so this is how working capital can be seen let's rechange again working capital should be no yeah this is no so current library is back to the it's back to its position here is the current liability 
okay let's see other changes method of showing balance sheet if you want assets and liabilities you can say if you want liabilities and assets you can say liabilities and assets is the indian format ga ap general accepted accountant prin accounting principle assets liabilities is a us concept okay american accounting system okay you can see also this one look all the assets on the debit side all the liabilities on the credit side so you can also see okay but indian format you have to choose liabilities and assets okay this is again liabilities on the left side and assets on the right side let's see other changes appearance name appearance of names names with alias if you want alias only if you want or alias names okay names only just scale factor for values if you want 100 by default if you want in crores if you want to see in lakhs in millions in 10 lakhs in 10 millions 10 thousands and thousands so make it always default because amounts are different okay this is how if you want to see detail f11 f1 okay if you get balance sheet like this so if you want to see in detail f alt f1 is the shortcut key okay this is how the balance sheet can be calculated can be see in a different view and different position okay here balance sheet is given 31st march 2009 always okay if you want to see profit and losses in different format okay if you want to see profit and losses different format okay let's first transfer profit and losses to capital account is there any which we don't okay let's see first profit and loss account this is the profit and loss account option go to the profit and loss account here you can find sales closing and along with trading sales closing stock purchase opening gross profit by gross profit indirect income net profit indirect expenses if you want in detail go alt f1 it is a alt f1 option here you can see opening stock finish or raw material okay purchase direct expenses if you have direct expenses then gross profit is this one here sales 4% sales cst sale export sales 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 maintenance services closing stock finish and raw material okay gross profit here indirect incomes this is the indirect expenses here you can find forex gain interest on 6% bond interest receive here all the expenses all the indirect expenses okay this is the net profit 6,51,779 6,51,779 okay we can see this one so go to the profit and loss alt f1 this is from 1st april 2008 to 31st march 2009 of manufacturing private limited okay this is how the balance sheet can be no profit and losses can be checked let's see in other videos means other reports let's see other financial reports okay how we can calculate how we or else how we can see other financial reports okay this is a two financial report trading in profit and loss and balance sheet we can see other reports in the our next video thank you for watching this my video on tally erp 9 financial reports in tally erp 9 for stock reports cost interest reports any other reports payroll reports and other reports you can see my next videos